Right, so if you do SEO and are looking for a way to automate your external linking, so essentially let's say you have a blog post right here and you will of course have your title, your table of contents, your images, your text, you have a bunch of internal links and linking out to other articles of yours, uh, author bio box, a bunch of stuff, of course, the classic on-page SEO, but you also need, of course, external links. So links linking to authoritative sources, right? Whether that's Wikipedia, uh, TechCrunch, and different others based on your niche, of course, you want to find ways to automate that. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. Because yes, you can do it manually or you can just use a software to do it for you. So how do you do it? There's this tool called Journalist.cafe. I'll leave a link in the description. Just log in, go to your dashboard. And first things first is you can generate content in three uh, different ways. I guess the simple mode where you give it a URL and a description, uh, titles mode where you give it titles. And essentially, it's going to generate the content, right? I don't want to go cover this right now. but So let's just go to the preset mode, which is the advanced mode and create a preset, right? What this is going to allow me to do is create a preset, like a predetermined way of content generation, right? Let's call it my special formula, right? For content, right? For content, right? You want to generate the, we want to generate it based on a description, a titles or based on keywords. So if you want this is fine. Let's use just business description. Let's do uh, my business my business sells computer screens to high end retailers. Let's do like this, right? Super simple. You can write here whatever you want, right? Content, let's do English. You can choose other 50 languages, Portuguese, Spanish, French, whatever. Creativity, let's do the tone of voice. You can leave this as it is. Um, structure, we can add uh, auto-generated headings or we can customize them if we like. We don't want to do that. Uh, internal linking, I've explained this in the previous video. Of course, you can automatically have it internal link to other posts you've created. And here, external linking, right? So we can do... Let's do wikipedia.com for test. And uh, this is where we set up our external links, right? And on the content that we're going to generate using journalist, it's going to automatically external link to one of these sources you input here. You can input as many as you'd like. It doesn't have to be a root domain. It can be the exact page. And on the content, you're going to see that it's not gonna, you're just going to link randomly. It's going to link uh, in a way that makes sense in the context of your article and on the context of the sentence. Also choosing an anchor text, so the anchor text is the text you click to go out to this website in a way that makes sense. I'll show you this in just a second. Images, you can enable uh, different types of images, featured image, in article images. I'm going to disable all this because my goal is just to show you how the external linking works. Let's keep formatting as well and let's create a new preset, right? So once the preset is created, we can go ahead and generate the content and the content is going to be generated based on this preset we just created with all these little features that we just set on the preset. So now you just go to generate articles and you click on the preset mode, choose the one we just created, which was this one, my special formula for content. And let's just do one article and click generate, right? So now the content journalist is going to be generating at the moment is one that is based on the preset we gave it, right? Where it takes in the context we gave it, which this could be a bit improved, right? I just typed in something real quick. It takes in the language. It takes in the internal linking. If we had set that, set that up, the external linking, which we did set that up, we link, we're linking out to Wikipedia, the tone of voice, uh, the creativity, all these little things that we just set here in our preset. And while this loads, again, I want to mention that with journalists, you can create content in three different ways, right? The simple mode where you give it a URL and a description, the titles mode where you give it the different titles for the articles you want to generate, and of course the preset mode which gives you yet another one, another uh, generation method which is the keyword based, right? So that's it. Uh, let's just wait for this to generate and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's done. As you can see, there's no featured image, there's no in article images because I removed them all. Uh, there's a table of contents, of course, and all that. And there should be here an external link. There's not a internal links because we didn't, didn't, did not, sorry, I set them up. But as you can see here, um, so if I read the sentence out loud, one effective way to do this is by utilizing a collaborative platform, right? And you click this and you go to Wikipedia, right? So this um, uh, article is about maximizing sales with high-end with high-end computer screens. So it talks about all that. And of course, there's a relevant link here on maximizing uh, effective way to utilizing collaborative platforms. So in this case, 
uh, it links out to Wikipedia. Now we could have made this about uh, platforms or collaboration or something more specific, right? The more specific you make the actual link, right? Not just linking to the actual uh, root domain, the better this is. And maybe this wasn't a very good example because you do need to link to actual um, proper pages. Domain does work and in this case, it does make sense because Wikipedia talks about every single thing, but just keep that in mind. And this is fully automated, right? There's only one because there's only one we set up, but this is exactly how you automate your um, also content generation and of course, uh, external linking. And you can of course, just click here to post to WordPress, any WordPress site we have you have connected. And I might as well show you here, if you go to the view all, um, show you the actual uh, power journalist or cafe has. It can help you generate content and take care of your content generation and your content posting for you. You can set up an auto blog, which I'll show, show you just in, in just a second here, sorry. This is an example of an article which featured images, table of content, internal links, external links. Uh, this one does not have um, uh, in article images. I think this one does have some in article images. As we can see here, they should be loading real quick. And so if we scroll down here, yeah, they're slowly popping up here. So these this article does have in article images. Now, you can of course click each one of these and then just post it to WordPress manually. You can just copy all this and post it to WordPress, or you can just set up an integration. Uh, at the moment we do integrate with WordPress in the future and about a week or, week or so, you'll be able to integrate with uh, Shopify. If you click here, uh, you'll be able to integrate with Shopify to have a blog with Shopify. And then there's the auto blog, which allows you to essentially set up a blog that automatically generates and posts content for you. I don't wanna bore you with this right now. I have a video solely on this. I'll link it in the description if I forget. Just go to this YouTube channel and you'll see a video titled Auto Blogs. But essentially what this does is you click a button, right? And it automatically goes and populates your blog, or sorry, generates the content and automatically posts it to your blog. You can have it so it automatically interlinks between each post for SEO purposes. External links, as images, adds all that for you, um, which is great. But yeah, that's it. This is how you automate your external linking efforts. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for this. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.